Grew up on the countryside of time. All right, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this hub look like this. Uh, basically, all I do. Uh, it would be perfect if you had a vise uh, to drop the hub into, but I got these. I got these uh, files. I got a variety of files actually. Uh, I got this one big one. It's flat on both sides. Then I got one that's flat and curved on the other side. This is probably the most uh, used one, but I'll use this one to start out with and to break down the biggest part of the uh, of the casting mark that I'm trying to remove. And that's basically all I'm doing is removing the casting marks and then I'm gonna have them Cerakoted. But uh, yeah, I'll use the big one to break that all the way down. And then once I get that broken kind of close to where I want it to be, I use this curved one to carve out the spot that I want to uh, yeah, to, to get that perfect. Sometimes I use this circular one to get it uh, perfectly round to not leave any high points. I rarely use this one. This is a square one. But the most used two would be this flat one to get the big chunks and then this curved one to get the, uh, the more curved pieces, I guess. But all of them, yeah. And I'll show you the finished product right now. And here it is, guys. Um, this is what the finished product will look like after you finish filing and uh, sanding and then uh, Cerakoting. Now, let me bring this to the light. Yeah. You can see right there the scratches and that little uh, spot that I left. Cerakote is so thin that you can see every uh, scratch that was on the surface just about. Well, not everyone, but some of the ones that were kind of deep. That's the great thing about Cerakote. It's real thin, but it's still strong. But uh, nobody will be able to see that really unless they get eye level with the hooks. But yeah, that's basically how it, uh, that's basically all that there is to it. Um, I didn't go in depth. Uh, Why well, didn't show me filing away the casting marks because it takes so long, and my forearms were just busted that day, and uh, I was really tired. But it's not it's not overly complicated. If you've used a file before, you'll be fine. Uh, and that's basically all I did was file away the the big ass casting blocks, and then. Had it seracoded. I didn't sand, which I probably should have. Uh, it would have alleviated those scratches through the uh, seracoat. But like I say, nobody will actually see that when it's on the bike. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks.